Hi YouTube, this is a free extract from my larger Illustrator Advanced course. You can check that out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Also, there's a link in the description for the exercise files. Those are free to download, so go and download those. All right, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to look at live shape effects. Basically, it makes Pac-Man and it allows you to kind of add and remove sides to polygons quite easily like that. We'll go a little bit further and make a little pie chatty donut thing. All right, let's go and learn live shape effects in Illustrator. Okay, so live shapes are only on a couple of objects. So there's the ellipse and the polygon tool at the moment. Okay, so let's look at the ellipse first. Um, I'm just gonna drag out uh, ellipse. Um, I've got a uh, fill and no stroke. Um, now, what we're looking for is, see this little target on the side? That's our little guy. Okay, it doesn't really matter what tool you're using, but look, I can drag up and drag down. Pac-Man, but probably better use for maybe a bar graph. Okay, now there's a couple of options you can do. Okay, so obviously I can drag these around randomly, just pick kind of a custom shape, or you can type them in. The transform panel wants to open up by itself, or up the top here, if you've got the control panel open, there's one called shape. They end up with the same kind of options. Cool, and what we can do over here, probably the most important is that you can uh, invert the pie and type in specific degrees. Okay, you can decide exactly what you wanna do. And the other thing, let's have a look at the polygon tool. Okay, this is the other one that works. And it's the same kind of thing. This one here has got like this little targets on the outside. They decided to style this slightly differently. See this random tile? Okay, there's the ones in all the corners and they went, let's randomly put this guy here. Okay, and you can see plus and minus. Basically, it allows you to kind of, I'm gonna drag it left and drag it right, add more sides, remove more sides. I use this mainly just to make triangles, okay? Drawing triangles with a pen tool, surprisingly hard. Okay, a four-sided one. <laughs> okay, all right. So you can see what we're doing there. Any other options for the polygon? You might decide over here, it's easy just to actually pick the size. Okay, and that's about it. You can play around with the corners. This here is the corner options. You can say I want rounded corners or increase them up. Okay, you can see the corners kind of getting round, but you could just use this tool as well. We've used this corner options in an earlier video. Okay, it's probably a quicker way of doing it. Now what we'll do is we'll make a little pie graph like you saw at the beginning because that's kind of cool. There's a full on graphing section in this advanced course, so go check that out if you wanna do, um, you know, if you're doing lots of graphs, you just want a quick um, pie graph, this is gonna work perfect. So what we're going to do, one of the things as well is, say you wanna get rid of it, you're like, go away. You can just double click these guys. Okay, and it kind of turns it back to a regular old circle. Then you can pull them out again. Okay, double click them to go back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with that. Uh, that's gonna be the base of my pie. I'm gonna copy and paste it. So I've got another version. And then I'm gonna work out some percentages. And um, if your, your math might be a lot better than mine. I'm, I don't know why math I find quite hard, but I've got some tricks, right? And you might be the same as me. You might be like, mm, tricks are good. Okay, like I find if I need to make a slice, maybe that's 15%. Okay, so I've got given some data and it says I need a slice that's 15%. I find this really handy. So um, we know that the full degrees is 360, right? But if you times it, so do a little bit of math on these guys. So times is the little asterisk um, key, okay, um, on your keyboard. And then you times it by point, whatever the um, measurement is, so 15. Okay, so asterisk point. Um, or put a period, whatever you call it, and it just makes, it just converts that to the right. So 54 degrees is 15% of 360. Man, I'm getting everybody lost. Let's try one more time. Let's say I want one more slice, that's 30. Okay, so all I do is go 360 times 0.3, which is 30%, and there you go, there's our slices. Cool, so I'm gonna color them. Here we go. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. So I'll put this guy and they, they snap into place. It's pretty cool, um, pretty easy. I find them building separately is easier than trying to do them on top of it. Now, one thing is I need to rotate this one around. So I'm just gonna rotate it around and it should snap into place. Um, I wanna say it snaps easily. There we go, cool. 15, 30, or whatever's left. Um, so another thing I did do in uh, the intro bit there is um, I kind of made it into a donut. So what we're gonna do is grab the, actually what I'll do is I'll grab this guy, copy it, and remember what's the shortcut to paste directly on top? Because if I go Command V, it just puts it in the middle of my stage or Control V on a PC. You remember what it is, it's Command F, okay, on a Mac or Command 
um, or Control F on a PC. So I've got two of them now right on top of each other. I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. Now I'm going to grab the top corner and I'm going to hold down two keys. I'm going to hold down Shift to make sure it stays the height and width, but also the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC. So I've got this guy. Nothing matches. I'm going to change the color just so you can see it, but it doesn't really matter what color it is or whether you change it. If I select it all back to our width tool, which is uh, Shift, um, not width tool. I say that a lot, right? It's the shape builder tool. So Shift M, and I'm just going to delete this guys in the side here. Cool. And that kind of gives me that kind of cool donutty shape. And because they're all separate, I can maybe do a pull out like that. Actually, I'm going to select it all, Shift M, and I'm going to click on this guy once. And all that really do does is kind of just slices them out from the guy behind him. Okay, so we're going to do something like that. Goodbye polygon. And I'm going to add some text. But uh, yeah, I'll do that by myself. You can add text. All right, that is for live shape effects. I hope it starts applying to things like the star. That would be a cool new addition. It might do in the version that you're using uh, in the future. But for now, it works for ellipses and it works for polygons. All right, let's get on to the next video.